All right, Jack, this is a video walkthrough of 4615 King Court. Stewart, brand new home, DR Horton. Let's take a walk inside. You can see straight through to the back of the house. It's got the porcelain uh, wood, wood look plank tile. Nice, nice color. When you first walk in to the left, you've got a, a bedroom here, decent size. I should get the dimensions for you. And next to that, in between, is a nice second bed bathroom. Everything is the LED lighting. I'll show you that up there. Pretty darn bright, but it looks nice inside. It's got a. It's not the super white color. That's so obnoxious. And this is the would be the third bedroom. Let's take a look here too. All right, back and out of this area, and down the main hallway. I've tried to leave the doors open so I don't have to do a lot of clinking and clunking, but you've got a little storage right here. You know, for your snow shovels and whatnot. Ha <laughs> ha! Little Connecticut joke. All right, so built up. High ceilings here. I think they're nine foot four inch, nine foot four inch ceilings. I'm just going to stay in this part of the house. Um, you got your new air conditioner and air carrier, and to my right is a two car garage. Plenty big in here too. This is a nice size garage. Water tank in the back. All right. Master got um they've got the attic open I guess for the inspector and you'd probably want to put some uh, steps there it'd be nice for a little bit extra storage in the, in the garage I don't know if you can hear that with all the that noise going through okay another storage closet there behind me this is a cool space they they installed in the model home they liked it so much they put it in all the homes this style uh, it's like a bar area you've got a light in this hallway and I don't know if this video is going to make sense to you but there's a, more storage there they don't have the shelves pulled down yet and then on to the main room so this is your living area got glass you got a wall here looks like set up however you want artwork television you've got lights in the ceiling that are LEDs that are very nice and they've got a space here and over here for uh, any kind of lamp you want to put if you want to put a chandelier style or anything like that and from inside your home this is your view I don't know that it's going to pick up with the light i trying to grab it there and there's that lake I was telling you about over there to the left nice um, screens with impact glass honestly I rarely open my windows down here impact slider really nice I'm just tapping it to show you that's a heavy-duty glass very nice to have and then there's your kitchen this is nice modern kitchen with a nice piece of granite you got us over you know, overhangs like that for your chairs to hang out at the, at the bar area there are Frigidaire appliances. I think one of the things we would probably do is go after them for some better high quality appliances, although there's nothing wrong with these. We can put some nice whirlpools in there or something like that. What's not in this particular home um, is the washer dryer. Now, I'm just gonna tell you from looking at homes all the time, I never understand why in a lot of models they put the washer and dryer in the front when all the living is back here. So your kitchen is here, just one more time, whip around. And your master bedroom's back here. So for you and Anna, <clears throat> this is where you guys are doing all your living. And I like that the washer and dryer's in the back. Why did she feel like this home was um, ac acceptable? <clears throat> one, excuse me. One was this second closet in the master bedroom. Pretty decent sized walk-in closet. 
right? And also with the LED light up top. It looks a lot brighter in the video than it is. It's a nice um, mellow color. I'll take you into the master bathroom. And when we swing back out, you get an idea of the size. All right, dual sinks. More storage, uh, you know, your towels and so forth. And then what's Anna, Anna's hot button? The giant closet that she's got to have. So here's a pretty decent size, uh, acceptable to her. So that's why I was, that's why I kind of jumped on it, because she likes the big closets. She likes the space. And uh, this one seems to have ample, ample space in the closet. All right, and even more behind the door and. You know, it's just got the wire racks there, but this can be a, I'll put that at six by 10, I mean, something like that, seven by 10. Two walk-in showers, I like that a lot. As we get older, who wants to climb up over into a tub? Not me, I'd much rather just be able to just walk right in. And there's your throne for King Lombard. All right, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. So this is the, again, this is the master. Nice, decent sized space. And then your master is right off the kitchen in the back. Beautiful split floor plan. So any guests are up. Remember, the other two rooms are in the front of the house. So you don't have to worry about, you know, any noise from the front of the house if you've got guests. You've got your private living quarters there. Um, that's it, man. Another swing through. Let's see if I can get this thing to work right. It's supposed to turn around when I do that. I don't know how this damn gizmo works anymore, but... <laughs> I'm a tech genius, aren't I? That's it. We'll cut.